It can be very tricky and dangerous to shower after any injury or knee surgery. In this video I will give you some advice and talk about some products that may be helpful. I will also show you how to get in and out of the shower and bathtub. First, I can't emphasize it enough that you will be in some danger of falling. A wet floor can be very dangerous. Avoid sitting on the side of the bathtub as it is small and if you are it is wet it will be very slippery. You may opt to take a sponge bath at first. You may need or want your caregiver or significant other to help you. While you may normally bathe alone, with the door locked, and without your phone, you may want to reconsider that. Have a plan just in case. For example, shower with your significant other home and the door unlocked, just in case you need to yell for help. The best time to prepare is before you have surgery, if possible. You will want to examine your space or space you'll be recovering in. Before surgery, Look for hazards and make room to maneuver using any mobility aids you expect to be using such as a wheelchair, walker, or crutches. Try to move unnecessary things if needed. If possible obtain and put extra supplies like toilet paper where you will be able to get to them. Consider items that may make your recovery easier. Some people don't use any of these, but some of these can be very useful. Of course it depends on your situation and factors like your current and post-surgery mobility, other health issues body type, your space, and how long you anticipate recovery to be. Stay until the end for my number one recommendation that I wish I had during my last surgery and how to use it. Make sure the space is as safe as possible. Non-slip mats on your floor, and in your shower may help keep you safe. Your setup may cause more water outside the tub than normal so mats or extra towels may be useful. Consider installing grab bars. Don't grab a built-in soap dish, towel holder or shelves, as they are not made for that and not secure enough. Plan a good space where you can sit to dress and undress. You can always walk to your bathroom in a robe. Some people use a strap or a band tied around their lower leg to help move it in the beginning. Follow your doctor's orders for bathing after surgery. Instructions will likely say when you can get your incision wet, when you can wash it, and when you can immerse it. Some people use clear wrap to wrap around it to help keep it dry. You may find it useful to install a shower hose sprayer that you can move and spray your body with. Some people use squirt bottles or a cup to help rinse themselves off. A long-handled sponge or scrub brush can be handy. And feel great on your back. It may not be safe and you may lack the endurance necessary to complete a whole session standing up. Getting up and down from a bathtub may also put a lot of stress on one leg. Too many people hurt themselves and even break hips in the bathroom. I would advise not to risk it. For some of us, it's a matter of life and death. We'd fall and starve to death naked on the floor because we refuse to call for help. You know who you are. To avoid this, you'll need to know the space you'll be recovering in. My number one recommendation is to figure out the type of tub or shower and the width and figure out which type of stool, chair, or bench would work best. This will help assure that you will not get stuck in the tub or need to call for help. Keep in mind even a small threshold you never considered before may become difficult to get over. There are a variety of shower aids with adjustable legs and commode chairs with wheels to keep you safe. Try to obtain these early enough to do any assembly, adjustment, and placement. Test it out and also consider if you will need to keep your legs straight. If you have a walk-in shower like this, then you would back up to it and step in with your good leg first. Making sure you are steady. Then step in with your surgical leg. Take your time carefully turning and sitting down. This also shows how a caregiver can help. When you are ready to get out of the shower, it will be the reverse, out first with the surgical leg, then with the good leg. Here we see a bathtub transfer bench. Adjust the legs and place as shown. The patient will back up to the bench and carefully be seated. Then they will slowly turn and lift legs into the tub. And can scoot over on the bench. Again, this shows how a caregiver can best help. I think this is the safest setup for a tub and helps maneuver over the side of the tub. It is preferred if you had both knees injured or operated on. If you have someone to help it will be easier. Getting out is simply the reverse. It's good to have a towel and dry off as much as you can while seated before getting out and if you have someone to help you, they can dry the floor. I'll try to add a link in the description where you can buy some of these items with free shipping. I hope this was helpful, or you at least enjoyed looking at the luxury bathrooms as much as I did. I wish you an easy, speedy, recovery. Check out our other videos on recovering from surgery. Take care.